hi my name is Sustin and today we will see login with Facebook so let's start so here we need to type our credential of our Facebook just type your username and password my username as my email ID and password and just hit enter so it will ask a permission uh, to access some your age and uh, some profile okay and continue as a my hash and you can see we are logged in you just log out and again you can log in okay so it's a simple today we will see how to log in with Facebook using PHP so type it here a uh, google.com and uh, Facebook graph API github just need to type github any tender and just click it here so first we need to install a uh, uh, composer so just copy this link okay if you don't know uh, what is composer you can write a comment so first we need to create a project inside a zamp ST doc so I am creating my project okay a B login and inside we just shift hold the shift key of your keyboard and open command window and just right click and paste that command it here and enter so it will take a one to two minutes uh, to uh, install and to download the package from github so now it's a uh, i have paused the video and uh, it's a uh, now generated the auto load php if you see like this it means your package successfully uh, uh, download it inside our project so now you can see three uh, two files and one folder it here and here we are creating a b init new file a b init dot php okay and just break and drop inside our code editor okay so everything we will see step by step okay we will not skip any step so please uh, watch this video watch full video okay so first we need to start a session okay session is start session is started okay then we need to include our auto load dot php file from vendor uh, folder okay so just type it vendor just you can see vendor and here auto load dot php so just type it vendor forward slash and auto load dot php so as you uh, see this file is coming from uh, a vendor folder okay include auto load file from vendor folder okay and then we need to uh, uh, create a new class which is inbuilt class of facebook okay facebook and here we need to app id and secret okay so where we, we will get app id and uh, secret and app version default app version this uh, two things uh, three things we need to okay so just just minute uh, just wait uh, I'm uh, showing you how we can get the app ID and secret okay and a version is 2.7 okay so these two things app ID and secret we need so just uh, just type it again Google and Facebook developers okay and click on Facebook developers and login with your account okay and create a new app and here we need to give a uh, app name okay so I'm typing it here Facebook but Facebook it will not take so we will take uh, another name okay my app you can give it any name and just type it this captcha okay app h a app 0 h a and here uh, are services okay lots of services but we need to uh, log in with P Facebook so you can see setup we need to a uh, web and here are uh, website URL okay so inside our pro inside our project we need to our index.php file index.php just come back and just copy your project name type it localhost and paste your project name and hit enter and this URL we need to paste it here and save again save and continue okay everything make sure default 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 okay and just click on my app and dashboard okay and here your client ID and secret okay after this tutorial I will delete this app okay just copy and paste it here and this is our app secret just copy and paste it here okay and bam we have done 50% uh, uh, task we have completed 
then copy the URL it again okay and paste it here okay and here your app logo okay which will be a SD actually I don't have a SD uh, uh, icon okay so I'm just uh, just forgetting it and site URL save the changes okay and go to advanced and uh, make sure everything uh, it's default okay make it default just I am checking it okay just we have done it and now we need to drag and drop it here okay we are already and here we will uh, access some uh, uh, things from the FB okay so this is the class Facebook and we are getting uh, we are calling the method which is the get redirect uh, login helper okay so this uh, method will help you uh, help us for uh, uh, getting the login URL of Facebook so helper dot get helper and get login uh, I think login URL yeah login URL so it will take one parameter so login URL is uh, just uh, we need to copy this our site URL and paste it here okay so this will work so store this inside any variable you can put it uh, any name login URL and check it uh, it's working or not so just copy the login URL and put it print or paste it here and let's run this project so it's working or not we will check now so after uh, our project we have a fb init.php and this is the url through this url we will uh, get a login through facebook okay so it's working okay it's working but the problem is we will uh, set uh, through uh, our uh, fb login means our site url okay we don't need to fb init fb.php we will get from index.php means our site okay don't be confused just forgot it what we ha I, uh, I have saved in a second okay require uh, just fb init.php this is the index.php file just echo and here we uh, need to uh, make a link okay just log in and uh, log in with Facebook and here is PHP tag okay we have included FB in it so we can get the login URL this is the login URL of Facebook just paste it here and semicolon okay control S for save and session start actually we have already uh, started the session uh, in fb init.php so due, uh, due to that it's uh, showing an error just remove this okay and now it's working but it's uh, 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 having the problem just go to a log Facebook login and here we need to okay uh, here we need to redirect URL very uh, data okay auth URL just back just again back and this url we need to paste it here okay and just make sure you have save okay and again you click it's working fine okay back it's working fine okay so it's working so now we need to some other things uh we will need to get okay so put it try and case block okay so we will uh, need to get the access token of uh, uh, Facebook so helper dot call the method which is get access token access token okay so it will uh, 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 dynamically uh, get the access token of our app okay just copy and if is set access token if is set access token so we will store this access token inside a session so dollar underscore session and you can give it any name of your session I mean I'm giving access token and just store this access to token inside access token of our session
okay and it's convert you need to convert inside a string okay so it will work fine and uh, it will not give uh, any types of error you convert to any string uh, then uh, we need to if session is set okay we can redirect to the user to the dashboard and any other page okay so if the session is set you can see so we are redirecting to the user to the same locations uh, of index.php okay index.php so we will uh, go back uh, index.php and uh, here we will uh, put some conditions so make it uh, in one line so it will our uh, markup will looks good okay so if else okay and uh, if end if end so the if is set dollar underscore session and session we have a access token you can see access token just copy and paste it here if access token is uh, said means session have some data okay so we can log out otherwise we will provide a link of login okay to the user and refresh so what the problem I think uh, some spelling mistakes uh, I have done actually we need to access token line number 22 and double C I think get access token okay double C save and refresh just click it here okay and continue as a Mahesh and it's working logout okay but when we click on logout it will not work so first we need to create a file which is logout.php so inside our project we need to create a file which is index uh, logout.php okay just drag and drop it here logout it will not work okay because we didn't type or didn't unset the session okay and didn't uh, destroy the session so now we will destroy the session and unset the session okay completely destroy so session destroy and we will unset the dollar underscore session and session name and our session name is access token just come back okay and this is the access token just copy and paste it here and header and we will uh, after uh, destroy the session we will redirect to the user to the home page and our home page is index.php you can uh, put any other uh, page okay and here uh, include okay just log out it's nothing happened because uh, we didn't include this uh, we didn't pass the uh, URL of our logout.php so now it's working just login logout login logout so it's working fine <sighs> okay so now we need to access some uh, data of user like a username I mean users name and email and something like that okay users profile we can do anything because we have a set the access token and we are logged in with facebook okay so if uh, session is set just copy okay copy if is set copy and paste it here so ab and set default access token and we know that our access to token we have a store inside our session just copy this access token and paste it here fine and uh, then we need to ab dot get and we are getting about me means anyone okay that's a local language uh, should be English and uh, fields uh, we wants to uh, name and email okay two wheels we wants and uh, 
this is the resources okay i mean name email okay mobile something like that so resources dot get field get graph user and it's put inside a user so we want to get the user get field and field is name okay get field and users get field field means we wants to a name okay we want to a name of a user so just control x and put inside a try and case block and just paste it here control s and put it echo echo control s for save and just refresh but here are again spelling mistakes so see again i have forgot it so now it's working so just append the hello and username okay hello mahesh rato log out but it's uh, showing the error message undefined method actually we have forgot one more thing is set function is set and put inside okay just log in with facebook okay it's working log in with facebook okay hello so it's working fine and it's a small tutorial for making a login with facebook so <clears throat> if you like this video please uh, support me okay you don't need to uh, do any uh, more effort to support me just you hit the red button okay to subscribe my channel so thanks bye take care